I'm William Warner also known as Count Cairo. Here is a little of what I know about John Keeley. From this moment Keeley turned his attention to etheric vibration and the flow of the magnetic current of the earth from pole to pole, with the astonishing result that he so perfected a motor to make use of these forces that between 1889 and 1890 he was in a position to show to scientists, in his laboratory in Philadelphia, a machine that ran by some mysterious power, or to quote the words of Dr. Leidy, he demonstrated the discovery of a force previously unknown to science. One might have imagined that such an extraordinary discovery would have been hailed by scientists and the press as great a revolution as that caused by the steam engine and later by the production of electricity. The contrary was, however, the case. Nearly all men of science, with a few exceptions, together with the press, ridiculed the idea as impossible, and did not hesitate to call Keeley a charlatan and a fraud. Prejudice against the unfortunate inventor ran so high that whatever financial sources he had became dried up, and for some years he was often reduced to the point of starvation. Whatever help or encouragement he received during this period came from two women, who perhaps in their intuition, foresaw the possibilities of such a discovery long before it could penetrate the more dense minds of men. One of these ladies, Mrs. Bloomfield Moore of Philadelphia, suffered cruelly for her loyalty and generosity to the inventor. Some of her relations attempted in the courts to prove her insane. An injunction was obtained against her making use of her property, and she was in the end reduced to almost a state of complete limitation. 